Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you for joining me today. So I thought, since I've got no base on or any kind of makeup at all, I've just done skincare, I would do a get ready with me using my Project Pan items. It's at the time now where I should be updating you on how well I've done or not well I've done um, with all my project pan items I'm going to be doing the Too Faced chocolate bar separately because um, it's the it's a pan that eyeshadow palette but all the other products I'll be showing you a lot of them you probably already seen um, because a lot of them are in my everyday makeup basket so I just need to tie this side of my hair up so I don't get any makeup in it Still getting the migraines guys, they are doing my head in now, literally, um, so I'll tie that back as well. Um, right, so what I've done, I've done this off camera because I, like my battery went again and I needed to put primers on. So I've put this one in my T-zone, it's the Mali Perfect Prep Poreless Primer. Now it's not a project pan primer but as you can see, um, there isn't that much left so I do want to use it up so maybe it is an unofficial project pan primer and then this one is the newer one I wore this yesterday when I did my um, I think Andrea when I did my um, basically testing Primark um, I Heart Makeup Elf and um, a Technique product as well um, so that video is going to go up soon it's just got a little bit of a delay on it um, it's actually uploaded now to YouTube but it's taking forever I really really like this guys um, it's got a great first impression I did use it many many years ago as I said in that video but um, I'd forgotten how well it you know how well it was and at the moment my skin is quite dry and it does need need hydrating and um, so this is working out really really well it's the elf hydrating face primer by the way um so that's what i want to talk to you about them so right so we've got one foundation in the project pan and this is it and it was already um I'd already used so much of it up and that's why I put it in project pan in the first place. I don't even know if I'll be able to get a use out of this. If not, I'll have to mix it with something else, but we'll try. Um, I mean, I got quite a bit out of it yesterday. So let's pop some of this on the sponge. Yeah, literally nothing is coming out. Might have to call this a day, you know, guys. And then at the bottom, let me just put the sponge down. At the bottom there, um, it's barely touching. It's barely touching the bottom. So I'm going to try and get enough for today, and then I'm going to call it a day, I think. Just because I don't really want to waste my time on this. Right, let's see how far this little bit goes. And as always, I'll speed the foundation bit up just so um, it's not that long of a video. I said that yesterday and the video was nearly 50 minutes long. Seems to be going quite the distance. <laughs> right, so I think I've literally got every single bit I can out of this. I know there's quite a bit, in, but there really isn't that much. I'm going to like hold it like that today and if I can't get any more out tomorrow see this normally comes forward like the product that's there and it's not sliding to the front so that's how I know probably no more products gonna come out but I will hold it up like this and if tomorrow I can get some more out for another 
face um, then that's what I'll do so that's the foundation um, but that foundation might have to be replaced with another project pan foundation um, so I'll keep you informed on that as well right so we've got a concealer somewhere in here yeah it's here concealer um, that is part of my project pan um, concealer as well it's the revolution fast base concealer and I think I've used quite a lot of it up I mean I know like that bit is blank there can you see it um, I don't know how much of this um, is blank because it's got the wrapper on let's actually take the wrapper off if I can because I would really really like to know how much I've used up I'd definitely get this one again just because Oh, not got that much left, guys. Look. It's just there. It's just that much there. Um, so we don't need that. We know what it is. It's the Revolution Fast Base Concealer in C2. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my eyes where's that one I like to use so I'm probably going to have to get a new one of them next month <clears throat> now where is that I like using this yesterday I used this for the first time in a long time um, and I really really liked it because you can actually get into the corners so we'll use it again and then if we need to we'll um, blend out with a sponge right so now I'm going to use this as my base for my eyeshadow <coughs> excuse me it's the Revolution Conceal and Define in C1 so it's the lighter shade that they do love the doe foot on this I used the Primark um, concealer yesterday and I hate that doe foot it's very very scratchy um, let's try this brush again for actually normally I just go in with a sponge but this is better at like spreading the product can always go on with a sponge after and then we need to put some powders on I don't have any powders that are in project pan I'm not officially anyway so I think I'll be pulling one in this time because I have used quite a few products up so I'm just using this elf under eye setting powder with this Shan XO, XO Beauty brush. I really, really like this for like setting my under eyes. And then we'll be using the number seven, um, I think it's called Perfect Light in Translucent, all over the face just to set it. In fact, I might just try it in my T zone. Normally I do it all over the face, but I don't think I need that. I don't like particularly get oily here, um, but the foundation is still quite tacky so. We'll see when we get there. So this is the Translucent Perfect Light Loose Powder by number 7. A lot of people compare this one to the Laura Mercier one. Don't know how true that is. I don't have that fa I don't have that powder. Um, let me know your thoughts on it if you've got both powders. Are they similar? The only Laura Mercier powder I've got is the um, Secret Brightening powder and I really don't like it. So it's kind of put me off getting 
the translucent one or any of the other ones that she has. So, go up here first. We're going to have to um, set the face as well, it's quite tacky from that um, Primark foundation. Now that Primark foundation is supposed to be matte but it always looks really really dewy on the skin um, so I wouldn't agree that it is a matte foundation. It's a really really good foundation. Right, so that is that. Right, so now we're going to bronze um, or contour um, with the Revolution and Imagination Highlights for the Moon palette. So let me just reach at the back of this camera and hopefully my camera won't fall off my tripod. Right, so it's this one. Right, so as you can see, I've used them two powders up completely. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do about this Kiyu one. Um, but yeah, I've, I've used them up completely. So I need to bring a powder in and I've got one in my drawer that I can talk to you about. I'll be using that once I've done my bronzer. So I'm using literally, which you can see is halfway done. So at the moment I'm mixing literally and warrior together. Warrior is also, you can see the pan there. So I'm working on both of them at the minute. I think I'm, I've done really, really well with this palette. I mean, I've had it ages in the collection, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm getting use out of the powders. I'll actually use this mirror. And this bit needs to go back. It's a really, really good palette for the price. When I bought this, I paid, it should have been £10 and I paid 8 for it. That's one good thing about Revolution. They're always doing great, great deals. Um, super drug at the moment. I don't know if Revolution have got the same deal on their site. Those forever, those forever um, flawless palettes. I, they should be ten pounds, and they've gone down to eight pound fifty. I don't know how long that offer is on. I'm not buying any. I don't think. In fact, I do really, really like the green one. That that's out, but I don't think I'll get it. Um, maybe in time i mean one pound fifty saving isn't you know it's, it's it's never here nor there um but i was actually looking at the decadent one um and i've decided because i bought a palette not so long ago that looks like it put too much bronzer on my nose um that i'm not gonna get it Um, so then we're going to use that powder I told you about and you can see what I've brought into the collection. Um, so you would have seen this in my shop, my stash. It's the MUA Skin Define Hydro Powder and I use this with this. Um, so just really to sculpt out the contour. And I've got to admit, other than like my everyday items that are in my makeup drawer I've not really used a lot of my project pan I put I put some project pan items in my drawers at the moment because I want to get more use out of them out of them sorry um, and I'll tell you about them when we get to them so that's the bronzer done 
of this powder back in the drawer. So this will be an everyday product, no matter what, until it's gone, and then we'll pull another powder in. It's just a way of getting use out of the powders. That needs to be blended in a little bit more. Um, blusher so blush is just behind here so this one was in my shop my stash it's the NARS orgasm um, and I've got a long way to go until I like project pan this it is such a beautiful blush this was probably one of my higher end blushes um, and I absolutely love it but I've not been using it and I want to get more use out of it so yeah, um, I just need to find a blush brush. Right, so I don't know where my regular blush brush that I use um, for this, like for blusher, has gone. My Revlon one. So I'm going to be using, I think it's from New, yeah, it's from New Look originally. So it's quite a good brush. I'm going to use that. And I'll probably keep these project pen items in for at least two weeks just so I'm getting use out of them. Can't really keep them in any longer than that um, because I won't get use out of my everyday makeup collection. But yeah, I really, really like that one. I've always loved it. And then for highlighter, um, we're going to be using this project pan. This was in my project pan last year and... I got a bit of use out of it, um, but I didn't get great use out of it. We're now in February. I did this project pan, um, what I'm going to be using in 2020, in January, I think. Um, and I've not used any of these products, guys, so they definitely need to be used. So that's what I've used so far. And if I carry on using it, then obviously I'm going to make huge progress. That's the shade. It is so, so pretty. So I just tap it on with my fingers. Normally I put it on with my highlighter stick. Um, I should have done that, really. Oh, yes. Need a bit more up there, really. What I'll do as well, as well as having this cream on, I think I'll use my hourglass palette. There's not that much left to use. Right, so let's use some of the powder that's left in here. Um, can't remember which powder it is. Oh yeah, it's the middle one, so what's that one? Incandescent light, and it's, the camera is probably not even going to pick it up. I mean, I should really just call it a day, but it's just there. Um, but with such an expensive product, you want to get every last bit out, don't you? So, um, yeah, let's find my highlighter brush. Let's choose this Real Techniques one because it is smaller than the one that I normally use. I'm really digging into it just so I can get the product out. Yeah, you can see that much more. I really, really love this ambient lighting palette. But they are so expensive, aren't they, guys? Right, so that's all highlighters done. I did show you the progress, didn't I? Completely gone, all of the products, apart from just a tiny amount there. 
don't even know if the camera's going to pick that up, but there is a tiny amount there. Um, so, let's put that away. Probably be gone by next month, hopefully. Um, right, so... Yeah, that's what the bronzers are looking like at the moment. So we've got literally that I've made brilliant progress on. Warrior. Um, I can't use that unless I self tan. Um, that can't deal shade. And the highlighters don't even speak to me about the highlighters. Um, just because I've not been using them. So that's that. So let's just put that back. Um... Then we're going to be doing a look. Um, it's not with my project pan because I do. I'm going to be. Do, I'm going to be showing you an update separately. But I'm going to be doing one of the last looks with this iHeart Makeup Chocolate Rose Gold, and I will use some of the shadows from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, which has got some of the shadows that I want to use up in 2020. I'm just not going to show you the progress in this video. I'll show you it in an updated um, video for the eyeshadows that I'm panning, um, which I'm not doing too great with. I'll, I'll just leave that there. Um, yeah, I'm not doing the best with that. So I need to start like bringing the palette in and using it more, using the eyeshadows that I need to be used up. Right, so I'm going in with white chocolate just as a base eyeshadow. Then we'll go in with salted caramel. That's part of Project Pan as well as as well as the um, white chocolate shaders. So we are using them. It's just how many times do you have to use a shadow before you hit pan? Do you love this? I say this every time I use it. blends out so so nicely can you hear that rain on the window Right, I think that's all we're going to use from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I think we'll use white chocolate again in the inner corner. That's the progress as well with the highlighter. So hopefully we'll be able to make progress with that. Um, so yeah, we're going with white chocolate on the brow bone. And then... I won't have to pull it out again later. Now we can pop that away. And I kind of already know what I want to do with the I Hide Makeup Rose Gold. Um, I want to use, I'll just show you. I don't know about the mats, but I want to use hard work. This really unique gold here. Um, so... Yeah, I think we're going to use, I mean, I've used probably all of these mattes in this palette with the looks that I've been doing on camera. So I think we'll go in with Shay again, which is that cool tone brown, um, just kind of like underneath the salted caramel shade. Just like that, just to deepen it out a little bit. I 
I'm going to get soaking wet. Why does this happen every single time I have to go out? Um, so any other shades I haven't used? I haven't used a Girl Boss, which is that one there. So we'll use that in the outer V. Maybe um, drag it into the crease. So now I really have used most of the mattes, which is good because I can give my genuine opinions on it, like when I do all the like best to worst chocolate palettes I've got, and then we're going to be using hard work. So it is a very, very simple look, but I'm hoping it's going to turn out nice. A little bit crumbly. Um, but that could be the age of the palette, but none of the other eyeshadows are like this. So, let's do it. Very, very nice, but for pigmentation you'll have to build it up. really nice so look at that Right, so that looks like that. Really, really pretty. And I know the heart, I Heart Rose Gold isn't part of Project Pano or anything, um, but I just did. I, I do have eyeshadows that are part of Project Pano. I forgot about that. Um, they're in my little Project Pan drawer, so I'll show you them in a second. I'll have to use them in the next few weeks. Uh, battery's flashing at me so let's try and get through this as quick as we can now so the next thing in project pan is this look how tiny it's gotten um it needs sharpening again soon as well so we'll just put some eyeliner on it's in the shade but first espresso the wind starting out there so not only do we get rain we get wind brilliant right so that's the eyeliner done so again, there isn't that much left on the eyeliner, just a few uses. Then this is part of Project Pan as well. It's the PS Beauty False Lash Queen. Um, this will probably be out next month. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it goes really, really clumpy. And no one wants a clumpy mascara, do they? Like today it's fine, it's not clumping up at all, it's like it's got a mind of its own.
Right, so now for Project Pan Lippy. Um, I've got one in my bag um, and this is the only one in the drawer. So we'll wear this again. I wore this a couple of days ago. It's a Dior lacquer stick in underground, number 420. Look at that. That is probably going to be out of the collection in a while if I use it regularly. Um, so yeah, these are really, really good. Very expensive, but really good. The wear off like a like... It's a lipstick, a lip gloss, and it's like a, a lip balm as well, and they wear off like a lip tint. So, yeah, I would recommend them if you want to splurge, um, but if not, maybe just a lip gloss um, would do the same. I do really, really like these lipsticks. I don't think I'll get another one, though. Um, not unless I want to treat myself. I have got another one but in a different shade and I do want to use that up after this one just before they go bad. Um, so now let's talk about the other project pan items apart from the um, Too Faced chocolate bar. I'll be talking about that in a separate video. Now there is some in here that I can actually show you and then I can put in empties. So this one, the Body Sharp um brow kit is ta-da completely used up so i can put that away then we've got shark attack i've not used any of this so i, I just need to use a little bit of that i could have pulled these today actually thinking about it and then we've got hanky panky um i did use this was in shot my stash last year not sh not shot my stash project pan last year and um, I, I I got down to it and then I lost it so I do want to start using that again and get that out of the collection another product I've used up completely is this bare minerals prime time I took the cap off and everything and got every little last bit out of it so another primer needs to be pulled in which will be the Mali one um, so the Mali one is going into a project pan um, and then these last two items that I haven't used on camera or anything I could have used this palette as well thinking about it um, I didn't need to put this eyeshadow on what I've got um, this Tartlet Tease palette last year I can like basically used all this powder up in the shade whisper um this has got a huge dent in and this one has got a huge dent in so i definitely want to use them up if possible but i do have six eyeshadows in the Too Faced chocolate bar i also want to use this nyx in lace up which should be quite easy when i don't have that kind of powder in a palette um so yeah th there is only four items in here now so I've shown you um, all the other project pan items, that's been my project pan update. I thought I would do it on the face rather than just showing you at, showing you the items. Um, I haven't had the most use or it's not been the most productive on kind of like the things like this. Um, but I'm hoping in time, you know, it, that will start to show if I use them regularly enough. Some things are in my everyday makeup drawer like um, the mascaras and the eyeliner so I will make the best progress with them. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me. If you've not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below and the notifications bell and I will see you in my next video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.